Uh, hello, I'm Won Bin from South Korea, and today my topic is doubly calibrated estimator for recommendation on data missing not at random. So the, the task is recommendation on data missing not at random, which is uh, applied to every recommendation data set, I think. Uh, uh, on the first row, the ideal loss function would be the error aggregated on the all UGI 10 pairs. However, uh, the recommendation data set only contains only observed UGI 10 pairs. So the naive estimator would be the error aggreg aggregated on the observed UGI 10 pairs. Uh, however, as I said, the recommendation data is missing not at random, which means a popular user or popular items are more contribute to to the naive estimator. So the naive estimator would be the biased estimator and cannot estimate appropriately the ideal loss function. So doubly robust estimator is one method for the remedy of this. Uh, it utilizes the observation indicator O and the propensity P and the imputed error E. So if Either the imputed error E or the propensity score P is accurate. The doubly robust estimator is the unbiased estimator of the ideal loss. Uh, however, the imputed error E and the propensity score P are inaccurate because existing DR methods adapt rudimentary models to estimate these, these values. Uh, so in this, in my paper, we claim that imputed error and the propensity score are inaccurate, which means it, they are miscalibrated. And this miscalibration of this estimates lead to the limited performance of the doubly robust estimator. So in my paper, we, uh, we present some theorems for these claims, and I omit the proof for this. So. The ECE is expected calibration error. So the term calibration is mean that for the binary classifier H, uh, if it output 0.7, uh, the result should be correct in the proportion of 0.7. So if the binary classifier between dog and cat, if the classifier says this input should be like 0.7, probability for dog uh, in the test set, it should be dog in the proportion of 70%. So that is the calibration means. So the bias and the variance of this double robust estimator is upper bounded by this expected calibration error. Uh, in that, in our experiment, the x-axis are the expected calibration error of the imputed error left, left and propensity score right. And the y-axis are the performance of the recommendation. So it indeed show that more calibrated imputed error and propensity score induces the better recommendation performance. So we propose doubly calibrated estimator uh, by adopting calibration technique for imputed error and propensity score. Uh, specifically, we adopt K calibration experts for the calibration. And each user is assigned to the one of the K calibration experts with the assignment probability of assignment network A. So we input user embedding uh, into the assignment network A and then we get the assignment probability vector alpha. And from that alpha, we sample one half vector beta. Uh, the sampling process is approximated by the Gumball softmax trick. So it is a uh, differential. Uh, so each user is assigned to one of the calibration experts. The calibration expert is C. Uh, subscript by the omega k. So C uh, given R, R tilde is the 
calibrate imputed error and the VEDA is since the VEDA is one hat vector so we just take the one value from one calibration experts uh, so these calibration experts are trained with the BCE loss and then this calibration imputation imputed error and calibrated propensity score so are adapted for the W robust estimator. And the calibration experts and the W robust estimator are trained simultaneously within our triple level joint learning framework. So we adapt three data sets for the unbiased recommendation. So the three data sets have biased training set and unbiased test sets. So our W calibrated estimator for WDR and W calibrated estimator for TDR shows the best result. And in our ablation study, we show that uh, calibration for the imputed error and calibration for the propensity score both uh, both help the W robust estimator for the better for the better recommendation performance. Okay, so the conclusion is existing W robust utilize miscalibrated estimates and we adapt calibration technique for those estimates. And by adapting calibration technique, uh, the W robust estimator shows the better recommendation performance. Uh, thank you, my presentation is for this. So is there any question?